Hello, my fellow vampires! This is Melucha, and welcome back to V Rising here in the Secrets of Gloomrot update. In the previous episode, we went after Foulrot because he was holding one of the last components I actually needed to make the Dark Silver Ingots, and that was the Spectral Dust. We also went to explore the Silver Mine, found this like really nice. He, he looks amazing, guys. His struts, his walk is incredible. And I definitely, like, there's two different, like, the slave mancers, I think they were called. There's, like, one with a whip and a mace, and the other one has a whip and a pistol, I think. So, or a musket, or whatever it is. And they look amazing. So, definitely want to get my hands on the second one as well. Let's quickly farm up the flowers that we... Wait, my inventory is... All right, I just spent uh, a lot of time. I must Crap! We're gonna, we're gonna need to empty our inventories before we come back. We also... Got our hands while I was just farming on some mutant blood. And while I was actually looking like, why would we actually want mutant blood? Increases all resistance ratings by 25. If you want to go farming in the silver mine, this blood is must have. Like 30, 30%, 25, that's what? 7.5% plus minus. So that would be a 30 increase, meaning you could get your hands on way more. Blood. We also found Randolph here. I think he was like 89%. And yeah, as you can see, I set up my second castle, like I said, with a couple. Uh, I upgraded it to where I was actually able to. So now we're Dark Silver Ingots, Power Core, and Primordial Essence for the last upgrade here. And I basically, I wanted to get my hands on more servants. One of the mistakes I make, I think, we actually uh, changed in the settings at the start of our let's play here. We kind of changed the settings so our castle hearts would actually like get increased uh, building size and we gradually increased it towards each level. Now we didn't gradually increase the amount of coffins we could place because at the last level I could actually place 20 coffins. At the third level I can only place 7. So might be if we ever do another let's play that might be definitely something that I increase as well like going... 5 10 15 and then at the last level go to like 20 so the the increase in the amount of ch uh, in the amount of coffins you can place gradually increases with the castle heart as well same with the amount of blocks that i could actually place but yeah we got two servants here i don't have gear for randolph yet so cannot send them out so on our farming expedition we also found this one a scholar 99 now this is exactly why we need the mutant grease, right? The irradiant of oh, the mutant grease, the irradiant gruel. Because basically, I can make this into a hundred percent scholar, and I've never had a hundred percent scholar. And I think that is also the blood type that I will be using, because that means healing on spells. And I basically always try to get like the gear equipment with lower cooldown, and being able to get like a refresh on your skill and heal from your skills. I definitely use skills more than I use like regular melee attacks. But this is also like we can try this and he can change into a mutant. Or we can use this one as a really really good servant. Like he's not 100% but 99 is like top of the bill servants. But we, we have to play with it right. I'm not really sure which Chris prison cells holds the i know there's one at least that holds the mutant grease seriously not one where the hell did i where the hell did i put it all right good luck let's gamble can we get a hundred percent one or are we gonna get a mutant one oh you bastard you freaking whoa no he's gonna run out right we can't keep him in there because else I would get like 199% mutant blood. Which would be good, but not perfect. God. Yeah, this is... This is the gamble, guys. This is the gamble. We had the pyromancer that I wanted to as a servant. But... Sadly enough. There is no space in my inventory. Seriously, I'm gonna trash my inventory first, guys. I can't do anything or pick anything up or farm anything more. Without actually uh, leaving my... Inventory. God damn it. Why did he why did he have to do that? Alright, empty bags, that is a whole lot better. So been doing a little bit of farming. Dark silver. Not a lot, right? You would think. Well. 
I already got 239 spectral dust, a lot of ghost crystals here, so... Yeah, my Saturday afternoon has been bone farm. Like, nothing else but bone farm, and every time I did the bone farm, and every time it turned into nighttime, I basically went to the ancient village to farm ghost crystals, came back, and during the day, it was, ghost it was bone farm. Like, I think for four hours straight. And the results are... Well... This one is kind of set up, right? 600, and then, what is it, 6,000? So, I should be getting a good amount of Dark Silver ingots. But before that, we need to defeat a V-Boss, guys. We have one more V-Boss to defeat Cyril the Cursed Smith. And this is exactly what we're gonna do today, of course. Now, we went, before I actually uh, go off track way too much... We actually went into the silver mine and we saw on the map already as well that there was one area we couldn't get into. And it was like a barrier here, a rock. Now, we thought like, okay, maybe it is like the next tier of explosives or maybe we just need like sanguine weapons to get our weapon skill, uh, weapon power up so the bear form can kill. Now, I got a comment saying you cannot break that with anything. You need the rat form to actually go in there. Now, the rat form is not something we actually went for, and is actually another V-Boss that is basically... Where the hell is he even? Like, like, look at that. He's, it's a level 31. Now, the Puget Rat is something you actually spawn in through the Vermin Nest, I do believe. So that is where I'm going to start my episode with, because I actually want to take a look in that room. We haven't even cleared out or, or seen the entire mine rat. Yet, yeah, right, so where is the Verminist refinement? Yeah, Verminist. So, stones and bones. So, I'm going to set up a couple and basically start spawning rats until I get this rat boss and get my rat ability. It might take a while to spawn them in. And what do we need to spawn in rats? Giant rats, future rat. Oh, so you can actually just. You. They. It. It didn't used to be a recipe. It used to be that you needed to spawn in, I think, giant rats or regular rats. And then you had a chance for this one to actually spawn. So, Grave Dust and an Unsullied Heart. Well, that makes this a whole lot easier. Here he is. The Puget Rat. So, a little gnaw. Nine damage. It's still... Pretty, pretty high. we has got a burrow where we start spawning in the medium rats. But for me, of course, this is really not an issue. Do these rats drop anything? Uh, it doesn't look like they're dropping anything. Then this would be an awesome farm. So he does turn enraged. And get nine damage. Pick up the health orbs. Okay, so he does give a a Wii. Anything else you got, buddy? One bite is 20 damage. The low level, he still can can hurt a lot. Low level, he can still hurt a lot. Okay, let's group them up. Did you spawn everything? So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do they keep spawning? Nine? Nine spawns? Oh, let's take care of them. And blam, he's dead as well. There we go. One of the V-bosses we had not beaten yet, guys. And now we can actually take a look at the silver mine. Because there apparently were a lot of goodies in there. And he does spawn. He does spawn rats, so. 18 rats in total. It's actually not too bad. If it wasn't... Well, Bone, bone Dust isn't, a, isn't an issue anymore. So one future rat is 18. And you get bone, uh, 48 bones, right? So... 18 rats would mean... I think it is cheaper to do the future rat... Than it is to just spawn in rats. Just out of the top of my head. Okay, good information, good information. Here got the NPC I definitely still want. 
And he actually doesn't pull you in with his whip. He actually knocks you back with his whip. So that's like range, range attack. Now, I would love to see the whip being one of the next weapons in, in this game, guys. That would be incredible. A whip that can pull enemies in. And a whip that can actually... Let's go regular so we can actually see a little bit. Drink. Now it's changing the red color, guys. Rat hole. Oh, so it actually says it. F rat. Okay, so I can pick up rats here. Oh my god, there's like no NPCs here. This is indeed a treasure trove. They said like, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice area because there's a lot of goodies in here. Like, holy crap. There is a lot of goodies in here. I don't see any silver though. Like just regular rocks. Like there should be more more areas like this on the map, right? So overall, some sulfur, some planks. We still have this this um, board, this one as well. Eh. Couple gems, couple. Yeah, it's it's okay, but going into town and just killing it. Just killing some NPCs, you can get this as well. So, it's a nice, it's a nice addition. It's basically, you need to have the rat form to go in there. But there's not really that much special about it. It's a cool addition though. Anyway, let's drink up, let's get our resistance up, let's farm up some silver. Let's go home, let's uh, grab our 100% blood, guys. And let's... Uh, We'll kill this V-Boss that we want for our Sanguine Weapons. So with the new resist, guys, we can take... Well, for now at least, because it's only like 20 points. We can basically take 2,260. So getting this up to well, eventually like five more points is definitely going to be really, really good. And this is at the point where we actually gain HP. Like just a threshold where... It says, what does it say? 67 applications, but we do have six, 68. But it's at the threshold, as you can see. Uh, so 514, 516. So we are gaining HP. We are not losing HP. That is actually the threshold you want to be. So yeah, mutant blood for farming silver is, is definitely something you want. Now, I actually... There's two means to farm here, right? So you can come in here and just farm up everything. So basically, I took out every node. And I could basically just carry every node in here. Now, the second means you actually have to farm here uh, is not mutant blood, but, but with worker blood. Now, with worker blood, you get a whole lot more from one, from one resource. So if I come here with worker blood, it basically means I can take half of the nodes here, have come back and go back home come back again and then take the other half of the nodes so in total the increased uh resistance is good but having worker blood and just coming back and forth like two times eventually you're gonna take way more home in two trips than you take home in one trip but just being able to carry more so that's maybe a personal preference for me because i play solo and i know this is not contested for me because nobody else is gonna farm here so I know that I can come in here, farm half of the nodes, go back home and farm up the other half of the nodes. Maybe if you're actually on a public server, you just want to have that increased resistance. That way in one trip you can take more home than you would. Because well basically next time you come in here, there might be nothing here because somebody else is farming here, right? So kind of a personal preference and thought on resistance versus the worker blood change. Anyway, let's uh, go home with this silver, guys. And let's... Uh, 20? Yeah, no. I can't take more. I'll say... Dying. Okay, so the blood trail does lead to... Or the Cursed Village or the Nest of the Cursed Weaver. I think it's the Cursed Village. I'm not feeling. Let's quickly check. Cause if I didn't... Like, I explored the entire map, right? So that also means that I should have been in this forest let's equip this one here so we don't actually have to worry about fire i don't think we don't have to worry about stun 
do want to farm up these, so I'm gonna set this one up here. Oh, and yeah, of course, there is a possibility that these guys spawn from here. Back off before you free, free, fear me, freeze me. I wanted to say. Thank you dead. Let's heal back up. Let's continue in this first. First, what? What was it now? First village. I can't remember that I actually went through here. So we got another one here. That's two. Three. So I'm gonna clear it out after I'm done, guys. Let's go in hard. We go. Back up. I'm not gonna loot the houses for now. No real interest in that. Just wanna see if he's actually here. So we have one, two, three. We got another one over there. That's four. We definitely want to see if if, the, if this is better, like a better farm for the ghost crystals or not, right? So four. We see five over here. They rolled the cursed smith. Do six over here? Seven over here. The so seven. Eight. So there's the same amount of uh, 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 well, uh, crystal crystal uh, nodes here than there is on the other location. Now the other location is smaller, so it's easier to clear out. Although it does feel rather safe already. So Cyril, let's go for this one. There we go. Can we get the other one as well? And just in case we still got 12 minutes silver resist, right? I don't feel uh let's 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 go full full ham guys. Let's take everything. Let's just take everything. And this should be Yeah, holy resist. I yeah, hell no. This is so tiring. Okay, so big AoE slam on the ground. And he's using like little orbs. But they don't follow him, they basically stay on the ground. He does spawn Spectral Guardians. And they do float around him. You see, like, they stay kind of close to him. Oh, look at that. And he actually slides, like, left to right. He spawns in a sword that works on its own. Holy crap. Yeah, look at that. The sword. Oh, that's that's actually really cool. Is that a magic broom? Is this the witch? Yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa! That was way more damage than I wanted to take. Heal, 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 heal. No, that was. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Behind the crystal. Behind the crystal. Behind the crystal. Oh, he actually hit me behind a crystal. Is there no place where I can actually just for one second just heal up a little bit? Get out. Holy crap, guys. This is a lot of damage. We need to take care of these little guys. You. Yep. Big AoE. Try to take care of the sword. Yeah, definitely want to take care of everything that's surrounding him. Like, holy crap, we took way too much damage from that. I do like the crunch. Yo, holy crap, guys. Yo, we're not gonna die here, right? That would be insane. Avoid. Okay, we got orbs. We got orbs. Our special is back as well. Let's pick it up. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Let's go in. Gather your arms. Go out. Go out. A lot of minions. Yo, good. Clear. He's got a double. Ripple. Quadruple. Heal. I don't think that's a heal. That wasn't a heal. Go, 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 go. 
You need to heal, 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 heal. Oh, he's confused. Almost got him. There is a max range to his sword attacks. We almost got him. We almost got him. Just stay away from him. Stay away from him. That should do it. Yeah, that did it. Bye. Holy crap. And the swords remain, so you can still die after. Wait, what? They're not done yet? Holy crap. We... So the fast... Uh, the fight lasts on, and we are gonna die here in a second, guys. Yeah! No! Please don't! Please don't! Please don't! Oh, come on, 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 come on. Can I heal up? Can I heal up? Can I heal up? Let's... Dodge! Heal! A fight that lasts... Till after the boss is defeated! This is insane! <laughs> this is insane! What a boss! No! Dodge that! I'm afraid if I extract his blood that the sword is just gonna kill me. The hitboxes of the sword is a little strange as well. Oh, back off! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! That was unexpected. That was unexpected. I feel stronger. Yeah, definitely it feels stronger. Holy crap. So yeah, I'm gonna farm up the ghost crystals, guys, because I still need a lot of them. Yeah, clear out the village, farm up every chest that's in here. And then uh yeah, let's go back home, of course. And now Banshee here, of course. And let's craft up our first sanguine weapon. You stay there. You know what? Screw you. Bye bye. All right, boss defeated. They rolled the cursed smith. It was definitely a really interesting foe. Like the minions, the swords he pulls, and the specters he pulls. And we get the Roth spear dash backwards and launch a piercing projectile, dealing 160 magic damage and inflicting weaken. Each subjective hit deals 75% damage of the previous hit and grants a phantasm. Okay. And yeah, Anvil and Dark Silver Ingots, guys. Really nice. So we kind of had to redecorate a little bit. Well, not de redecorate, like reposition some of our forges and, well, basically everything that we have, right? Because, uh, well, basically it's a corner element, uh, same as this one. So we definitely want to be able to set it. And now that I think about it. Hmm... We might actually have to set it up in a corner like this, or... Because it kind of needs a corner for too wide. Feel. We could do something like this. And then set it up in this corner. Because this is lined up with the wall, right? But as you can see, it can't line up. It kind of needs to step forward a little bit. And that's why I always whoa and step back a little bit. There we go. And that's always why I feel like this is a, a a forge, an anvil that is for like two wide walls, like here, where it basically intersects into the next one. Because now it kind of it's kind of sticking out. <laughs> I don't really like that. <laughs> oh my god! Like these little little itty bitty things. Could we set it up here in the back and then have a forges here in the middle? Then if I set this one in front of this one, it's kind of... It doesn't look good either. Yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave it for now, guys. I'll maybe play around with it later. So here we go. Dark silver swords, dark silver mace, and dark silver pistols. So, nine reinforced planks and 12 for each. Great sword 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So 12 for each, guys. Really, really nice. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Make a Reaper, a Mace, and a Sword, because those are basically the three. This one is for uh, farming minerals. This one is farming for my flowers. And this one is uh, basically for uh, combat that I use. And, well, Dark Silver Pistols kind of wanna... 
kind of want to just take a look at all of them. Like, maybe craft, like, one of each. Just have a look at how they look. Because a purple string on the Dark Silver Crossbow. That is definitely really, really nice. So, yeah, we had some workbenches that we didn't really need anymore, I feel. And I kind of don't feel well about this one either. Let me just place this one... Yeah, that's looking better. That's looking better. We basically have the same gap here now that we have here. Yeah, that's looking better. So, yeah, instead of three cooking, we've got nine cooking. That should speed things up. I don't think I mentioned this in this Let's Play already, but... In the previous one, I love to look at, like, when we first got our hands on these workstations, the new workstations, I just love to look at, like, all the little bits and pieces just turning around like a drill over here. And we got some water flowing here where we temper the blades after that actually like forged and cool cooling down. Get some uh, heating over here. Like these workstations always look like so so good. Even the furnaces. Like the little glow coming out of here, the steam coming off. Like every one of these guys, like once you actually start them up, they, they just look so good. So these weapons guys, they're looking amazing. Holy crap, they are looking amazing. Got the short sword here. All with the purple gems in him. And this one is missing a little bit of the purple tint. I do have to say. Reap the, the, the guns, guys. Look at the guns. They look freaking amazing. Holy crap, they look so freaking good. I cannot wait to see what the upgraded version looks like. Now we got the crossbow with the... Like, it is actually like a purple rope string on it. It is... It, it looks... It looks freaking amazing. We got the greatsword. Like, it doesn't even fit in the screen. Like a little skull. But it's not a skull in, in the middle of the weapon, right? At the top of the handle. It's like... Um, it's like a ghost screaming. He's got his mouth open. That is looking so incredible. Then we got slashers. They just look menacing. Just holding them like this. They really do look menacing. And then the spear, of course. And of all the weapons, I find the spear the least threatening weapon. Looking at it. And then, of course, we got one more. And this also means that we got, like... We've got a full set right now, right? It's like nine weapons in total. And then the axes. They're so skinny versus the other weapons. They're so freaking skinny. Do we have... So it's a red effect on this one. Kind of a silver line. Holy crap. That is looking incredible. Yellow on this one, like kind of yellowish. Okay. It is, it is looking amazing, guys. The drawdown on the bow seems faster. Is it just me, or is the bow time... Is the is the draw time on the bow faster than it was before? We got the greatsword. Looking amazing as well. Got the slashers. Got like a purplish tint to them. Yeah, really, really nice. This is like really yellow to the kind of goldish tint with a little orange beneath it. Yeah, holy crap. And this is more to the red orange type. And then reddish type for the primary attack. Yeah, holy crap, guys. We made our way into the sanguine, the dark. Well, not the sanguine one, because sanguine is the upgraded version for the dark silver ones, right? But we are one step closer to actually, well, being almost fully geared we still have a long way to go because we don't have the research yet now you might be wondering like 
do you only use like the reaper dark swords the mace and then sometimes i take the pistols along just to go on a farm uh mostly in the lower zones so mostly in here or in here i take it along because i know i can like just almost one shot enemies with the uh, basically with with the triple burst but once i take them into the higher areas they just didn't do enough damage Meaning now with the upgraded version, I can start taking them into the higher tiered content as well and still be able to get a decent kill ratio without actually having to like have the movability that I have from these, right? So cannot wait till we go upgrade these bad boys as well. And I'm not really sure I trashed all the wrists. Uh, we don't have any NPCs at home. I don't think I have any... Like... I know 69, I think 69 or 68 was our previous gear score. So we're 72 now. Which of the V bosses can we actually take a look at? So previously, the last one was Terror Claw, I think. So Matt got the Curse Reaper, who's got the Ghost Yarn. Okay, really nice. And then Henry Black Brew the Doctor, we could see him. We got Vatatia, the Power Master. So she's going to give us Power Course and EMP. That's going to be Gloomroth North. 79, we've got Night Marshal Styx the Sunderer. Who we know roams around in the Cursed Forest. And he's got the Onyx Tears. Oh, look at that. Onyx Tear, a black material forged by blood, gold, and power used to restore the most powerful of weapons. So this is actually what we need to restore the legendary weapons. So once we defeat Mar Night Marshal Sticks, we can actually start. Re oh, and we get the path form. That is incredible. And then we got 80 Solaris, the Immaculate Legendary Paladin with a spell. There we go. And we also got a notification. Like, I was wondering where those three bosses were at. So now we can actually see every boss. Where the three bosses were at that actually gave us the, like, the pillars that give us, like, two hour boosts. And apparently they're like in a whole different section now. So that is definitely something we need to look forward to as well, guys. But I'm going to wrap up this episode here. It's probably going to be a longer one. But yeah, there's been a lot done in this episode. And I'm really, really happy. We can go into the next tiers. We can go on beyond what we were capable of with better ease right now. And I need to make a lot of weapons. Because this means that all of my NPCs need to get an upgraded version of the dark silver reaper so once my reaper breaks down i can just take theirs and i don't need to repair them right like i said i'm gonna wrap it up here guys if you want to see more of my quest progression my journey progression or my let's play here in v rising the secrets of gloom rot or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye